How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, quad MFT here, bringing you guys probably one of the last really intense advanced warfare gameplays I'm going to bring to you guys in a while. I mean, I'm sure during Black Ops 3, I'll do a few throwbacks. We've got Black Ops 3 in four or five days, and that's so exciting. If you guys haven't noticed, this gameplay is not mine. It's my boy Swag XBL. He's actually playing on a friend's account. Please make sure to go and check out his channel. He's one of, actually one of my favorite YouTubers. Go ahead and check out his channel. Link to it down in the description below. He has incredible gameplays and is a really cool guy. This is an MP40 DNA bomb, if you guys haven't noticed already. The MP40, I'm kind of making this video just because I wanted to fully address it. I made a few videos about it but I didn't really get to talk too much about it. I wanted to really appreciate the MP40 and how cool it is that they implemented a gun that's really good. I know I know a lot of you guys may not really love that they put the MP40 into the game just because it's so good and the only the way, the only way that you can get it is through supply drops. I mean, you can get it through advanced supply drops, but I feel like a lot of people get it through supply drops just cuz those are a little bit more common than advanced supply drops. But yes, I do wish you could just straight up purchase the gun or it was just free, but sadly it's not. That's not the way making money works. That's not the way businesses work. They got to have a way to make money and doing it through supply drops and advanced supply drops is obviously the best way for Activision and Sledgehammer to make their money. So <clears throat> the MP40 definitely gives the ASM-1 and, and the ASM-1 speakeasy a run for its money. Like if you haven't noticed, this isn't even the elite or legendary version of the MP40. This is just an enlisted version and it still dominates. Like this is also like, that, that's crazy that it's just an enlisted version and still dominates more than the ASM-1 speakeasy, I'd say. And most guns, you, you really don't want to rock a suppressor on. I mean, sometimes I'll rock it on the bow, never really on the ASM-1, but the MP40 with suppressor, it's really good. And that really gives you a big advantage, especially when you're going for DNA bomb gameplays, playing against enemies who really aren't that good, that don't know that 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 barely know how to kill you, they still can't even find where you are after you kill them with your suppressor, and they don't know you're coming, they don't know what's going on because they don't they don't hear you. First off, it, it makes the sound a lot quieter, and they don't see you on the radar. So. Overall, the MP40 and the fact that it works so well with suppressor is a huge advantage. I would suggest you guys to check it out. There's only a few days left in Advanced Warfare, and I didn't really want to skip over the MP40. I made a few videos about it, but I kind of wanted to show you guys like how beastly and how godly it really is. Again, please make sure to check out my boy Swag XP. I'll link to his channel down in the description. He uploads daily Call of Duty content of the highest quality, so please make sure to check it out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys also like the way the MP40 looks. I know it's a weird thing to say. But I definitely think it looks really good with the champion camo. It definitely throws it back to World of War. If you guys play Call of Duty World of War, you're probably a pretty OG Call of Duty fan. And you realize how good it was, how really, really good the MP40 was in World of War. And really how good it is compared to it, how compared to how it was in, in World of War. How good it is in Advanced Warfare. Which I think is a good thing. I definitely would have think it would really mess up the Call of Duty player's mind. If they made it so good in Call of Duty World at War and then just made absolute trash in Advanced Warfare, that would just upset a lot of people and I don't think it's a good idea. But I'm happy they did it this way. Also, you can see he's using Grip on it and I do think Grip is a great suggestion. Even though it already has little to no recoil, just making it have almost no recoil makes it all the much better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. There he is calling in the DNA bomb. Don't forget to drop a like, rating, subscribe, join the Quad Squad. It's been Quad MFT. Check out Swag down in the description below and I'm Audi 5000.